Hello. Um, thanks. Uh, good to see sort of more than a house full. It almost feels like howdy modi in Houston. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, Poonima, uh, just to give you a, a quick background about Poonima, she is a pass out of uh, National Public School in Indranagar. She did her science major with computer science and uh, she had uh, joined up DQ in the year 2015, appeared for all the competitive examinations in 2017. Um, the rest, of course, is what, uh, uh, where she is right now, she's in IIT Guwahati. And a uh, few things which I wanted to share because, you know, much of the analytics which has been shown here was in the nascent stage of development and uh, I'm, I'm fortunate to have been one of the parents who used to interact in some of these pitch sessions with uh, Sean, Dion, and Umesh sir about developing this analytics-based tool where it is self-diagnostic and helps the students to understand. So I won't take much time on the analytics because I would rather tell you some of the things probably which uh, she did, Purnima did, and as also as uh, parents, we also took charge. First and foremost, I want to tell you that uh, I like the three words which Umesh sir has used, which is curiosity, imagination, and tinkering. Uh, for all the aspirants here, architecture, NIFT, this will remain a part of your life. This is what we as parents have begun to understand. Uh, so that's very important. You can never give this up. Uh, some of the things regularity in the classes, whatever are your allotted sessions. If you are passionate about getting into one of these institutes of national importance, as well as some of the other equally competitive, very, uh, very good institutes, you have to be regular. This is my advice to all the students. Come what may, you, can, you should not miss these classes. For students who are especially joined, who have joined one year prior, it's paramount importance. So also for students who have joined two years prior. The course material of DQ was at that time very well prepared and as I have been always in touch with DQ over the last two to three years, I've seen it has grown leaps and bounds. So the course material of DQ is more than comprehensive what is there in DQH. Take your mock tests, take your quizzes, be honest and be truthful to yourself, only that is going to pay. Another thing which people I have found in students and also my daughter is time constraint. You always find that, you know, you have time is always chasing you and you are chasing time, it's vice versa. How do you manage time in this pressure situation? So most of the time I relate this to a one day match, you know, one day match, you know. On that day, the team which plays well wins. It's unfortunate, but that's the fact. So how do you mentally prepare yourself? My emphasis and out of our experiences, first focus on accuracy, which is basically in DQ edge language. It is not your gross score that is important, but it is your true score. You may actually out of 60 in your time be accurate enough to get a score of 40 on 60 reflecting your true score, but rather than work on a score which is 50 on 60, which is your aggregated score. So I. To Purnima, always we used to, I used to say as a parent, I want you, if you are doing 10, aim for 10 out of 10 to be right. I don't care about the time. Take your time. If it means 10 minutes and you have taken 50 minutes, so be it. But you will have the satisfaction of having cracked everything correct. The reason why I said, I, I was emphasizing on this is, my, my experience has been, accuracy is difficult to cultivate. Speed will follow. If you, are, if you know how to be accurate, speed will, will form in as you work along. And with all these diagnostic tools, you know, you know where your gaps are, you will be able to master them. So my, my, one of my suggestions is learn to be accurate first time. First time right, very, very important. Okay, and try to look on that. Don't get, because you will see how you progress. It will be inspiring for yourself. The other thing is that there is a lot you will do in the classes. There is a lot you do in terms of quizzes, a lot of theoretical inputs, understanding concepts. 
more important is what happens beyond classes. So that's a very important time what you spend in terms of, uh, you know, uh, things like uh, uh, on holidays, what do you do? So my suggestion is remain engaged. If this is your passion, remain engaged with that. Keep logged in with that. It is not necessary. You will have to be opening out DQ Edge and start practicing tests. Revise your portions. Take small tests. You know, try to understand. Go through the theory part once again. Try to see if there are any gaps in understanding what it is. Remain locked in. I think that's very important in terms of do. Another thing which I would like to uh, suggest is when you take these mock tests, you know, take them in a very formal atmosphere. You know, I don't say put yourself under pressure, but put yourself in a very formal situation, which means that if you have to lock yourself up in a room and tell your folks, you know, I do not like to be disturbed for the next 30 minutes. I do not like to be disturbed in the next 45 minutes. I don't want, you know, anybody calling me. I do not want mom coming down and say, beta, chai pee liya kya, dood bana ke kya. I don't want any. Very important for the students. Lock yourself in. Put yourself in a formal, say, I don't say punish yourself, but get into that formal atmosphere in terms of taking the test. Don't get distracted. Put your, your time stamp is there on your system. Do those, uh, use those 30 minutes very valuably. It is not important, as I say, that you would have solved all the 60 questions. It is more important to put yourself into a formal atmosphere because that formal atmosphere is one chance which you will get on the day when you appear for the examinations. Regularly review with your faculty. I, mean, I think this is very important. I'm so glad to see that UCD has now migrated to this platform of including sketching as a portion. You know, it was not there at that time. So it's very good. So that's the area where you will need a lot of support from your faculty. There are unfortunately or fortunately in design, there are no right answers, there are no wrong answers. As if somebody said, it is yes, no, and a wow. You know, so you will have to learn to move towards the yes and the wow. And so take a lot of help from all the faculty. I mean, they are phenomenal. I know Umesh and Sean, we have shown them. Somebody said very nicely, you know, Madhav said it very nicely, you know, you will get a lot of criticism, a lot of flack. Don't get discouraged by that. You know, it's only the beginning steps. Uh, you know, you will pick up, you know, it will happen. You know, you will start learning it. You will start improving on it. It has to be there with you. So you will start learning it. What is it beyond course material? As somebody asked, I believe Sean is talking beyond course material. I mean, uh, what else to check, what not to check? Yeah, do listen to what Sean has to say. You will get a lot of ideas. But uh, some of the things which uh, Purnima had practiced, uh, for example, uh, you know, English. Uh, the UCED English uh, is, continues to be slightly more elevated, especially the passages as compared to the NID, though I'm seeing the last papers, NID's English uh, comprehension passages are also picking up, you know, and they are equally tricky. Suggestion is for people to look, if you have done all your bit, if you have time, look at SAT, look at GRE. I know I'm just raising the bar, but do that. Uh, some of you may be attempting SAT, but look at SAT English, look at uh, GRE English. It will give you a lot of inspiration to raise your bar. Uh, similarly, in terms of, uh, if you are interested in... Uh, other things, you know, there are a lot of reference books which are available. Some of them you are, some of them you guys must be knowing. I can share a dozen with you. You know, do do not hesitate to get in touch with me. I have enough references, enough ebooks on these things. You know, where you can solve problems of quizzes and puzzles and other things. So keep your mind consistently engaged with that. Um, Drawings, material handling, these are things which you have to keep practicing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, it's, it, you have to just keep repeating it and then one fine day you will, you will be able to raise your bar. There is no shortcut to it. Material handling, please go down to the local hardware shop, try to buy these own materials yourself. This is for students. Go and buy these materials. You will come to know many things when you go. You will know what to ask for. How will you describe the material? What is, what is it that you have learned technically? What is it that you will go when you go to a hardware shop? How do you ask that materials? Wires, strings, you know, nothing like going and doing it and shopping it yourself because once you go to a hardware shop, you will... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm closing. It's almost done. So, 
uh, you will get get into all these things and uh, you know you will get a lot of uh, lot of uh, uh, on hand and on field experience my last uh, points is uh, visit graduation exhibitions okay of some of the design schools if you have the time do hop in there shrishti conducts its annual grad show do go up there go and have a look and see what students have done there that's that's very that's going to be very interesting attempt to do internships it's not easy purnima did an internship with one of the creative agencies perspectives do change it helps okay uh, before i conclude a lot of uh, i would like to sincerely thank uh, umesh shonsar dion and the entire team because the problem we had with purnima was i would say in a very humble way a problem of plenty uh, we didn't know where she should be taking and where she should be joining i think that's the kind of support which they have not listed here but they will be able to guide you with their experience because they are up to date with all the colleges and all that goes on thank you very much and thanks for listening to me i hope it helps purnima's websites are here she is on behance as the clumsy artist she has her own website as purnimasubramaniam.com and so do when you get a chance hop into the website and see the kind of work they do thank you bye bye